Hello everyone, this is Watson, and today we're going to learn how to add multiple IP cameras to our existing business network. So we have a business, and after we set up the regular network system for the whole business to operate, uh, sometimes we want to add a security cameras to it for it to protect our business. Well, we'd say like we can use an NVR, regular NVR, and then use a PoE switch to power the IP cameras and send the data with one Ethernet cable. This is using PoE technology, which is basically transmitting power and data through one single Ethernet cable. It's really convenient. Although, since it's for your business, we want a more secure way. A more secure way, we introduce this option. This big device right here, this is called a uh, dual LAN NVR. Like all NVRs, it can help us storage the video footage is on a hard disk drive integrated inside, or we can use it to connect to a monitor and watch the video feed. So what's so special about this? Well, the dual LAN means it has two local area networks. It means we have two Ethernet ports for us to connect to an area network. So two LANs, meaning this one, one of it can connect to our internet, which will allow us to control this NVR through the internet. Letting it connect to the internet means there's more uh, features, more opportunities to uh, uh, control this. And the second one is used to use it like a virtual network. A virtual network, it's like operating on its own. It's independent, it's more secure. It's just like a box in, inside a box. So it would be more secure to let it protect our uh, businesses with uh, the second network because the second network won't be interfered by whatever is going on by the internet where the first network, like the one connected to our main network system. So usually using a dual LAN and VR, the, the, the sub-network is the perfect choice for us to set up an IP camera system. Now we have a basic learning of this dual LAN and VR. Now let's see how we should set up multiple IP cameras. So you can see there's one Ethernet port. So if we want to set up one, Ethernet, one IP camera, that'd be okay, but we want to set up multiple ones. So in this case, we're gonna to have to use a device which can exchange the data. Here I have a PoE powered switch. This PoE powered switch can help us create, connect to multiple IP, uh, IP devices, like multiple IP cameras, and then they'll send all the data back here, and once it's sent back here, there's a port that will upload it all to this dual LAN NVR. Now what's so special about this PoE powered switch is, since it's PoE powered switch, it means it can receive the PoE signals, power itself up, and then use all the other ports to transmit PoE signals again. So this one is a eight port of total PoE powered switch. Port number eight, is the default port to receive the PO signal. So if we have PO signal transmitted from here to port number eight, it will power this PoE power switch and the rest of the seven ports can transmit up to 30 watts of, of power and then uh, data to all the other IP devices connected to it, such as an IP camera. And with this, we can set this up in like in the middle of the area for our IP security camera system. And it can spread out in all directions, saving us a lot of space and uh, cutting like lose half 50% of the cables we need to deal with. So it's gonna be really tidy and neat. And also it's small in size so we can place it almost anywhere. But I said it needs PoE signals, but our dual LAN VR is only like transmitting ethern, uh, ethernet like data. Uh, what should we do is use a PoE injector to help us provide power for this PoE power switch. So basically a PoE injector will help us provide the power, it will receive the data from the dual LAN NVR, go, then the, it will add power to the data and then send transmit PoE signals out of this port. This port is the Ethernet plus CC port, which means it's PoE signal, and the PoE signal travels to the PoE power switch, and then finally the PoE power switch has seven ports which can connect to seven IP devices which provide PoE as well, like in PoE IP camera, and then it will help us create this amazing network system for IP cameras. Now let's take a look at how the basic connections are. Now first we're going to power up our PoE injector and the PoE injector will need an ethernet cable to connect to from our dual LAN NVR second port making this the in independent port for our security camera system and then you can see the, in the indicators are on meaning this PoE injector has power now. We're going to connect the ethernet cable that has data to the ethernet port and connect the ethernet plus CC which means transmitting PoE signal this port to port number eight of our PoE powered switch. 
Now I can see the indicators are on on the PoE powered switch. This means there's power going through it as well. And finally, we're going to connect our PoE powered switch to our IP camera. And shortly we shall have an image on our screen. Now you can see the image is on our screen, meaning this connection is successful. And now I'm going to take you guys to take a look at the interface for this dual LAN NVR and you guys can see the settings for the second network. All right, now this is the interface for our dual LAN NVR. We're going to go to main network, main menu, and their system, and network right here. You can see there is an IC1 and an IC2. This means it has two network cards. So new two network cards make it be able to change and connect to two networks, letting operating under two networks, which makes it more secure. And so this is why we use it for our business. It's because with two different networks, we can make sure that the network that is important, like surveillancing our a business all the time 24 7 will not be interfered by what's ever happening on the main network which is the first network all right that's pretty much it for this video if you guys have any more questions feel free to leave them at the section below uh, thank you guys for watching today and i'll see you guys next time goodbye